Corby, I'm from Caledon Mountain Veterinary Hospital and today we're going to learn how to do passive range of motion on our cats after surgery. So definitely cats are a little bit different than dogs but the motion is still going to be exactly the same. So today we're going to learn about doing passive range of motion of the hind limb. So we want to start off by doing range of motion of their toes because even these digits can get a little bit tight and tense if they're not willing to put full weight on their leg after surgery. So it's just as much as extending their toes down for flexion and extending them forward for extension. For the joint around the hock, we want to make sure that we kind of stabilize the joint by itself. So a hand above and below the joint. You're going to bring up for flexion and straight for extension. For the knee, same idea. So we're going to put a hand above and below the joint, bring it up for flexion and <laughs> straight for extension. You're doing very good. And for the hip, more so putting a hand behind the knee, we're going to bring the leg up for flexion, for flexing the hip. And then we're going to extend it back for extension. 